Hello everyone and welcome to the uh, next assembly which is about mental health and well-being. This week's assembly coincides with it being Children's Mental Health Week. So first let's establish what mental health is. Um, it affects how you feel, you think and how you act. It also refers to of course your emotional and psychological and social well-being. Quite important at this time, social well-being, with uh, us all being in, in lockdown. Your mental health can obviously change and fluctuate on a daily basis um, and can be affected by a, a range of factors for sure. It's important to look after yourself physically, but it's also very, very true for mental health. Your state of well-being affects how you cope with stress, relate to others, make choices and play a part in your family and community, workplace and among your friends. Of course, some of that is very difficult to do currently. It's just a few th ideas for uh, when young people have good levels of well-being, what it helps you do. And of course, that's about learning and exploring, uh, being able to express yourself and manage your emotions, both positively and negatively. It also helps you form and maintain good relationships with other people. Helps you cope and manage um, during change and when, whether you have setbacks and there's uncertainty. It also helps you to develop and thrive. But most of all, of course, it helps us to develop those coping strategies that we can then become more resilient, uh, develop our self-esteem, be confident young people. It also helps us uh, to feel calm at times and enables us to engage positively uh, with most things in life, of course, but also, most importantly, our education. And that then in turn uh, develops our academic attainment, which leads to good exam results. This is the first of a couple of slides that just sort of gives us some ideas about how to try and support ourselves when we are feeling anxious at any point. And it's important to note, actually, that this is a, it's a normal feeling. A lot of people currently, for sure, will be feeling very anxious about the current situation. So try to establish a daily routine, whether you are at school or you're not at school or if you're part time in school. Um, try to stick to your lesson timetable. Get out of bed, uh, get yourself dressed, have a good breakfast and stick to your daily timetable. Add variety to activities. So be very, very wary about too much screen time. And that's easy for me to say um, with so many hours in front of a, a screen doing schoolwork. But whenever you can, try and turn that screen off um, and get some exercise. Get out and do a, a, a walk or a jog or do something, a cycle perhaps uh, every day if you can. Stay connected with your friends. Uh, and that's important. Um, that amazing thing that you all look at all the time, that mobile phone. Well, how about ring a friend as opposed to just uh, using a social media platform to keep in touch? Give them a call. Have a chat. So next one there suggests very clearly uh, avoid excessive social media. Um, a lot of that isn't too good for you at all. Get some fresh air in the garden. So between lessons, perhaps have a five or 10 minute break and get out, have a little walk around the house. Um, really good for you. Perhaps try something new, uh, such as a bit of baking or picking up a new hobby. And of course, most of all important is to talk, talk about how you're feeling, share your feelings with other people. Um, if, you know, ideally in your house with, with, with parents or brothers or sisters, if not a friend, or someone at school, of course. Here's another slide that I picked up from the NHS about uh, five simple steps, I suppose, to mental well-being. So connecting with other people, to talk to people, build good relationships, be physically active. So important, as I've already suggested. Learn a new skill, give to others. Random acts of kindness are really important. Um, makes you feel better and it makes other feel, people feel really better as well. Uh, pay attention, know what's going on around you, uh, enjoy where we live. 
Here's a great side that uh, just gives some ideas of signs of success in a pandemic. So have a little look, see if you can tick all of them off. Here's something I picked up uh, recently when I was doing a little bit of research around the assembly. Um, and it's about people feeling lonely. And that's particularly evident currently within uh, COVID pandemic that we're in. Um, please don't ever feel lonely. That's, and that's, that's the important message from this slide, I think, and, and later on in the presentation. Um, and there's a really good website called thegoto.org. So have a little, uh, do some research, have a look, and you'll come up with some great stuff there. One of the great concerns around young people and not being at school and being at home every day and the internet um, is that um, we really do need to look after ourselves online and we need to be really smart about being uh, safe online. And there's a few really good top tips here that you need to have a read through um, and ensure you do seriously think about staying safe online. So I mentioned there about being smart about um, being safe online. So keep yourself safe. Do not give out personal information at all. You know, don't agree to meet up with someone uh, that you've never met before. Um, obviously, currently we shouldn't be doing that anyway, but please don't ever do that. Um, don't accept emails or messages from people you don't know or don't trust. OK, and think about information you do receive. Is it true? Is it not true? Really be questioning uh, information that you pick up. And finally, of course, and most importantly, if you are concerned about something online, you must tell someone about it. Tell your parents, tell some friends, tell a trusted adult, um, particularly someone at school, if you are concerned. This was a great uh, picture I picked up that I thought was really simple, but um, before you go and post something online, and remember once it's out there, you can never get it back. And this is about, again, staying safe online and that in turn will help our mental health. So T, is it true? Don't post something if you definitely know it is not true. H, is it helpful? What am I getting by posting this? What are other people getting from it? I, is it inspiring or is it just a complete waste of time? Why am I posting something? Is it necessary for N? So what is the point of this? What's the purpose of me posting something? And K, of course, importantly, is it kind? If you're posting something that is not kind, you should never post it at all. Uh, this, it's important to talk booklet I produced prior to um, the summer holidays and it was as a result of picking up lots of information throughout lockdown one i've asked tutors to put this out to all of you again so it would have been emailed out or gone out on teams um, on monday the first of february please do look through the four pages some wonderful advice in it uh, ideas on who you can talk to if you're worried um, and lots of agencies out there that are there to support you if um, mental health is something that really interests you and you are concerned around your mental health, this is a really good website, uh, the Anna Freud National Center for Children and Families. Um, and they, they've got a website here that you can paste this into your browser uh, and have a look through some really good stuff. On uh, the 4th of February, it's uh, Time to Talk Day, and I, I really like this. It's an annual event uh, whereby they're encouraging people just to talk to others. Uh, the power of small conversation help lift someone's day. So you might not feel down, but you might know someone who does. Um, so please do uh, make the effort to talk to someone uh, regularly, you know, different people. So, you know, connecting with others, um, your friends is really, really important. And it certainly does help improve mental health and well-being. That's the safeguarding lead uh, for the school. I, I need to know that you are all looking after yourself. 
during a pandemic and a school lockdown, it is very hard to ensure that you're all OK. Tutors are asked to contact you once a fortnight and it's important that you really get back to them. And in between that time, you know, communicate with them via email or via Teams. So do please look after yourself. If you feel you need extra support, then you need to let us know. So you can contact your tutor on Teams or email, your head of year. Um, and we also have people on site every day. Um, you can either, if you're in school, you can see them or I can get them to, to ring you or, I, you know, I can help myself or any member of our pastoral team are prepared to help you and support you. You just need to communicate that with us. So take care, everybody, uh, and please do look after yourself.